Hi, I'm Rob Copeland. I'm the Group Program Manager for the Windows Graphics Team. And today I'm going to talk to you and show you all the great performance improvements we did for everyday apps. Let's see them. When we considered which areas to improve, we looked at the ways that everyday apps use graphics. Based on this, the main things we focused on are images, text, and shapes, or what we like to call geometry. To improve performance on images, we optimized decoding popular image formats like JPEGs. For example, the cloudy background you see in the Bing Weather app is a JPEG. To demonstrate the performance improvements in decoding images, we have an app that decodes and displays a folder full of JPEGs taken with an ordinary digital camera. We ran this app on Windows 7 and Windows 8 side by side, and as you can see, Windows 8 is much faster. For text, we looked at three things. First, we looked at small blocks of large sized text. This is commonly used for headings and headlines, such as in the Bing News app. Next, we looked at longer paragraphs of text at reading sizes with multiple lines of layout. And finally, we looked at smaller blocks of text at reading sizes. This is commonly used in user interface elements, such as buttons in an app bar. To demonstrate our improvements in text performance, we have an app that displays each of those three types for 150 frames. And once again, we're running it on both Windows 7 and Windows 8 computers. And side by side, you can see Windows 8 is much faster. It's well over twice as fast. Finally, for shapes or geometry, we looked at two different things. First, we looked at simple shapes like the rectangles and lines you see in this temperature graph used in the Bing Weather app. Next, we also looked at optimizations for more irregular shapes, such as the snowflake and thermometer icons you see below the graph. In this demo, we run through rendering the same number of frames using several different simple shapes. We render ellipses, lines, rectangles, and rounded rectangles. Again, we ran this test app on both Windows 7 and Windows 8 side by side. Not surprisingly, the performance on Windows 8 is much better. For more unusual shapes, like the spinning fractal pattern, we worked with our graphics hardware partners to create a new hardware feature called Target Independent Rasterization, which is part of DirectX 11.1. .1. Without Target Independent Rasterization, the system is able to render the spinning fractal at about 30 frames per second. But, on a system with target independent rasterization, it's well over twice as fast. I hope you've enjoyed this video that shows how much we've improved graphics performance to deliver a great fast and fluid experience in Windows 8. We can't wait for you to try it. 